Hello again. Uh, in this video, we'll show you how to use the customer journey map template. It's an Excel template. And basically when you open it, it opens to the info tab and you'll see this just welcome message there. And basically underneath we'll see an example of what we're trying to construct. And basically all of these things uh, are driven by drop down menus and fairly easy to do. So basically, it says we start with brand persona and we just work through the tabs along the bottom. So we'll go there. So basically, our brand persona, we we just start here. We put a, uh, a name in. Okay, try to make it a descriptive name. Okay, so Shopper Sally. Uh, we can come up with something that sort of makes sense to who we're looking at. Uh, there's instructions there. And then we go down and we've got to describe our persona and then finally rate what's important to them. So basically, we pick five of these. There's a whole bunch of things set up already and they've got drop down menus. So we've got age range, for example, and you just pick uh, the ones you want to include. And we go, OK, put that one in. You can do the whole lot and then you can just pick the ones you want in the map. Um, as it says, five of them will go into the final map. If there's some here that you don't like, I will put a couple more in, in terms of personality and then brand loyalty. Okay, so so far we've got four that are going onto the map. And if we want one of our own, we can put that there as well. So you type in what you want to have. just making something up positive view of life attitude and put that in so that's our five so a whole bunch of ones you can choose from and then uh, add uh, five yourself if you don't like any of these and then finally we're going to find uh, what's important and not important again uh, we're going to rate these what will show on the map are the ones that are very important high and low importance factors will show okay so if you rate something one or two It'll show it's not important. Six or seven will show it's very important. So again, you can rate the whole lot for information. Uh, so let's just say these people are um, quality and products important. Uh, brands important. Uh, convenience is not important. Um, again, you can add your, add, your, add your own. I'll just put, uh, again, you put something in there for you. Not important. And we'll pick one more important one there. So again, basically that's it so far. So we've just set up our persona. All this ha goes over to the map. If we go to the, the final map here, it's starting to populate. Uh, this is where we're headed. So those names are in there. The five we said they're important. Uh, and the couple that we said the, that are unimportant are all sitting there. So you can go back to our persona, sorry. You can see we've got uh, only two negatives and the others are positive. Then we go to the, the various stages. I'll just show you the map so you get a sense of what we're going to do on the stages. So the stages are awareness. Uh, this is pre-purchase. So this is before anybody's, uh, the consumer is looking to actively buy the product. And as we know, over time, they'll get, gain an understanding of the brand positioning alternatives etc that happens outside of an active search stage or a buy a decision process so how does that happen so that's phase one basically then once the need recognition is kicked in and the buying process has begun what do they look for how do they make their choices this is phase two then basically we're looking at once they've done their research and they're going to buy it they get how do they actually physically buy it and some usage and this is in a sequence of steps okay these are just various touch points will populate here and then finally what happens afterwards customer satisfaction and loyalty so basically we've got a tab for each of these four down the bottom to populate these so what are the touch points prior to the customer seeking to buy the product so over time um, 
you know, might have seen ads, you know, various ads. So you just go through and pick the ones we've got. The whole bunch of things here. I'll just pause while I do uh, ten of them. Okay, jump forward. I've just gone through and picked the ones I, I've liked. Again, if you um, don't like these these choices here, you can type in your own idea. So I just put that. Sorry. Whatever you're going to come up with. So I've done that strange wording, so we'll see it on the map. And basically, that's what we do. We've got to come up to at least 10 because 10 will will appear on the map. If we have more than 10, we can edit it a bit later and choose. And then we just repeat this for each of these. This is a search. So when they're shopping around, they're looking for information. They're comparing products at this stage. Again, I've uh, you just go through and what do they look at and you just go through and and pick some of these um, i've already highlighted some to uh to, to get going again we do the same thing if you want to add your own there's an option down the bottom here as as well uh, own two that's a bad spelling sorry so i'll put that one in so again we have to double click it put it in and then say yes put it in because we can come back and say, oh, no, I don't like it now. Take it out if we wanted to. So that option's there. I'm just using this wording, so we'll see where it pops up. And then the purchase stage, steps and interactions when they're buying the product uh, and then using, consuming the product. So again, I, I've, I've hit some yes buttons already, but basically you go through and, uh, you know, worked out which ones are, are, are relevant. Again, we're looking at least 10 of these. And then finally, the after purchase. Okay, so they've bought it, they've consumed it. What happened? There's some satisfaction levels, there's some loyalty levels there. Um, and again, you just go through and pick the ones that uh, sort of make sense for your particular one. Again, we've got that option. This is your own idea again. Okay, so we've gone through all that. And now it's before we get to the final map, our chance to fine tune it. And we come to this page and we see that in awareness, we've actually picked uh, 14, but we've only got space for 10. So we pick the ones that, uh, that are important to us that we want to include. If we don't number them now, they will not come back. Okay, they won't appear on the final map. Okay, so you're putting them in some sort of sequence. If you make some sort of mistake and uh, you enter the same number twice, it'll highlight red. and It'll only pick up the first number six, not the second one. And if you try to put in a number more than 10, such as 11, it's not going to let you. Okay, so it's, it's, it's protected that way. Now, only these 10 will show. Okay, and I do the same thing for the others. So I'll just pause the video while I do that as well. Okay, I've just gone through and, and done all that. So basically, uh, in search stage, we selected 13. So you don't have to be that cautious initially. You don't have to be counting. You can say that's relevant, that's relevant. And you end up with, you know, 10, 15, 20, 25, doesn't matter. We can then just number the 10. And this is a strange thing own to there's your wording so you can see that it does appear it follows through and i've done the same thing here we had 11 so i put these ones are in sequence these ones with the arrows and then finally what are the outcomes we had seven this is the only list that comes down to five and basically then we've got our map um it's, it's quite large so i'll just uh, screen it down a little bit so basically, we've got our descriptors here, the name, what they like, what they don't like, and what's important to them, not important to them. And then all the 10 things that we picked uh, for each stage sit here. Okay, um, 10 again. And then you can see here we've got own two, so you're putting that in yourself. Then in sequence, this is the one in arrows, bang, 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 bang. And this is a logical sequence. You can see how it flows. And then finally, the various outcomes that we put in and then we put our own. 
one in ourselves. So basically, uh, that's it. If we don't like something, oh gee, search ad, uh, that doesn't make sense. That's under awareness. We can either change it here or here. So we can come back and go, okay, we've got search. Um, I don't want that anymore. Delete it and then put something else in. Okay, so we come back here and it's uh, updated. So that's uh, that's gone and now it's recommended to me, etc. If I don't like this descriptor, I just come back over here and okay, actually they're a little bit younger. Come back to the map and it automatically updates. So basically uh, that's it. Um, and remember to create multiple um, brand personas for different target markets and different target customers that you have. So hope you have fun with it.